Hello and very happy today to present you the new version of my timeline tool. Uh, I've made quite a few improvements and I think now it's much easier, way much easier than before. This is the type of timelines that, uh, that this tool is allowing to, to make. Uh, this is from previous projects uh, where I've uh, used uh, that template. But let's dive into it now and let's see uh, how it works. So the first new feature is a new anchoring system to anchor all of these items right there. So just to remind us, so each of these items right there, like the hours here, the markers, the, even the periods, the playhead as well, each are controlled by a slider uh, control right here that I've named TC. And this value is the number, like the the amount in seconds, sorry, yeah, let's look at it, the amount in seconds from the origin. So here it's 2000 seconds, which correspond to 33 minutes and 20 seconds. So the new system is that now uh, you can just simply adjust this by renaming the marker right here. Let's say for example, I want to put it at 23 and 10 seconds, boom. And that's it, like the, the marker goes to the to the right place. Uh, just a quick note, it, if there is a pre-comp like this, uh, it doesn't rename inside the pre-comp, so you need to change it manually. But like I, I've preferred to left some flexibility just so it's not too much automatized. And uh, yeah, so that's that's how it works. Important: make sure to not change the spelling of this uh, marker right here, otherwise the, the the software, the algorithm will get lost. Uh, second new thing is a new stretching system. Uh, so t just to remind you, this is how you control the timeline's movement. Let's say, for example, here there is a boom, a big stretch on the timeline, and it's controlled by two sliders, one for the scaling, one for the scrolling. Okay. What's new is that I've had an anchor slider right here, which is the target of the zoom. So for example, let's just remove the keyframes right here. And let's say we want to move, we want to zoom on this one. So what I'm going to do, this is in seconds, this value, so I'm going to look at the position of this, not the, the time, like the, what the, 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 the value here, but the TC, like the conversion, it's, two, it's 2000. So I'm going to write 2000. At first, going to offset everything a bit, but now you can make your movement and it's going to be very easy. So I'm going to scroll here, back in the middle, going a bit further. And the new thing is that now if you zoom, it basically zoom on the right item and doesn't like you don't need to scroll over and over just to as it as it, as it was before and you can adjust it like this so for example i'm going to do a quick easing right here and i'm going to have now a, a perfect zoom on the moment that i'm interested with of course you're going to have to detail like a bit add new markers possibly but now it's much quicker because you can for example uh yeah if you want to like let's say add a 0035 for example so i'm going to come here duplicate it's there. I can just rename with enter and press 35. It moves there. I'm also going to need a dash. So I'm going to do the same thing with dash. I duplicate. Oh, sorry. I duplicate and I come here to put 35. And here I am. And then you can detail it with the information you need for your project. The thing is, it ch I think, in my opinion, it's changed on every project, so it's very difficult to... I, I, I have preferred to leave it very flexible, and uh, so everybody can make his own and uh, his own thing and add the amount of information that you find relevant for each case. The third thing is a new template. Uh, I've had a lot of, quite a few people asking me, oh, your tool is nice, but it would be good to be able to do, uh, like, long periods, like years, cent even centuries. So this is now available with this new timeline. There is now two timelines, so we were in the second mode, like the anchor was in second, and there is now a year mode, which is here. And now the, the, the time reference for each is a, is a year. So, and it works exactly the same way, so you can scroll back, zoom on a specific period, like this is the use case that I have designed, uh, where we zoom back to 1871, uh, and we zoom here, you make the thing. And quick example, for example, I want to move the two-day marker to, uh, let's say, 1985, for example. So I can just come here, rename it, 1985, and you can develop with the months and the day, indeed. Let's put June 
the six, for example, and boom, it it position right there, and uh, that should be the the right moment. And the last new thing is a new system for periods, like here, for example. Let's zoom on it. Like I think I made a move. Ah, no. Let's yeah. Let's let's just stay stick here. So I made a new system to to create such periods, and now you can control this with the in and out marker. It's in here. It's in second again. So you need to calculate the the position. Uh, from the, the origin and yeah and there's the same for the year mode but in that case I have detailed there is in the day the months the year for the beginning and the out day months year for the ending so you can just change it there and it will adjust directly let's let's have a quick try let's say we want to move this from one month away so the in should be let's say one month later up and now it's from April April to May and that's it so this is it. Uh, if you have any idea for improvement or if you find a bug, don't hesitate to drop me an email. Uh, I'm going to make a longer tutorial in a couple of days, a couple of weeks, I don't know, uh, just to show the whole process from beginning to end, just so you can see uh, how it works. I recommend to edit in Premiere, uh, but I'm going to develop that in the, in the tutorial. Um, yeah, thank you. Bye.